Now the last phase is the easiest phase. I need to have some simple padding and for this I select the space. You can see that I have selected the face and go to sketch environment. Now I'm going to select the circle and click on the project 3D. Now I have a circle here. I exit my workbench and I select the pad tool and I'm going to have a padding of about 2 millimeter, 3 millimeter, or 1. That's okay, I guess. Uh, 2 is okay. So I select the reverse direction and click on OK. You can see that it has closed the ends. Now, again, I need to have some more paddings. You can see that I have some kind of edge in around this shape so I go and again select this face go to sketch environment now I select this end circle and click the project 3D I exit my workbench and select the pad tool again now this is going to have about three millimeters so I need to have of course thick profile it's a two millimeter or three millimeters of length or two is okay so I make sure that the thickness is 3 millimeter again. I click on OK. Now you can see that there is something here around here. And now the only thing that I need to add is some filler to my shape. So I go to insert menu. You can see that I have fillet under dress up features. So I select edge fillet. And it is going to be about 3 millimeters in radius. No, 3 millimeters in diameter of course. So it's going to be about one millimeters in radius and I select the object that is going to be filled that this is the face that I select click on OK and I can see that there is a nice fillet around my shape that is very good you can see that using this yes now the last thing you need to create is this pocket this is very easy and not going to create it in uh, you know completely but you can select this face and go to sketch environment and draw some shapes to create this for example I can select a uh, spline and draw something like this I click on here and click on here this is a spline that I created just now and I press escape to uh, you know end this spline now I go and select the profile tool I select the uh, three point arc the first point is going to be here, the second point is going to be for example here and the third point is going to be here. Now you can see that I have completed this. Again I press escape two times. Now I need to have some circles here so I need to go and select the circle tool. The circle is going to be the first one is going to be here. Uh, it can be smaller using the constraint tool I make sure that it's about 15 millimeter for example in diameter now I select the circle go and select the mirror tool from operation tool set and the vertical axis is going to be the mirror line you can see that I created the same circle here now I can go and select the circle tool and click another circle draw another circle here that is going to be about 15 millimeters in diameter so I type in 15 here now you can see that I have three circles right here. Now I need to go and select the quick trim tool. Now I need to delete some unwanted lines using quick trim tool. You can see that some constraints are added. I can delete these constraints. I do not want them. I only want to delete some lines. So again some constraints are added. I click on them and delete them. I do not need them. So I click on this constraint again and delete this as well. I do not need this constraint too. Now again I select the quick trim tool and delete this line. Again some constraint is added. I do not want them. So again here and here. Now you can see that a very nicely created profile is here. Now you can create another profile like this. And whenever you finish with your profile, you can exit your workbench. 
select this profile to pocket, click the pocket tool and add about for example 5 millimeters of pocketing click the preview that's okay click ok now you can add some you know uh, other things such as selecting the uh, edge fillet and select this inside edge of course you should zoom in a little bit using the control page up or go to zoom tool so that you can select the edge correctly this is the edge that I'm going to select that's going to be about one millimeter of radius so I click on OK you can see that there is a fillet there I can click somewhere else I need to select this edges again pressing control button click this edge this one this one this one this one and this one again some edges inside I can select them as well and this one and I can rotate my shape a little bit using the rotate tool select inside this one this one I still do not let go of control button now I let it go I go insert select the rest of features select edge fillet and one millimeter is okay so I click this fillet and you can see that the fillet is nicely shaped now I click on fit all in now you can see that it is a little bit you know too small and my shape is created like this you can see that the, using the thing that we have uh, learned until now it is easy to create such a come such you know uh, complex shape such as this ashtray that I just created for you